hello students in this video we are going to find out the partial fraction of a rational expression in which the denominator have an irredu irreducible quadratic factor as one of its uh, factor as irreducible quadratic form okay so i am taking an example that is we are going to from the uh, find the partial fraction of 3x square plus 5x minus 6 upon x cube plus x square plus x okay now this x cube plus x square plus x can be written as x into x square plus x plus 1 Okay, and the partial fraction form of this will be equals to a by x plus b x plus c by x square plus x plus 1. Now, if we take the LCM in the right hand side, this expression will reduce like x square plus 5x minus 6 is equals to a into x square plus x plus 1 plus bx plus c into x. Okay, if we multiply a, if we multiply in this bracket and x in this bracket, we will get ax square plus ax plus a plus p x square plus c x now taking the coefficients of x square a plus b x square now taking the coefficient of x that is a plus c x plus a is equals to 3 x square plus 5x minus 6. Now if we compare the coefficient we will get a equals to minus 6, a plus b equals to 3. If we put a is equal to minus 6 here we will get the value of b and b would be equals to 9. Okay similarly a plus c is equals to 5. If we put value of a here we can very easily find out the value of c that is equals to 11. So in place of a, we can write here minus 6 and in place of b, we are writing 9 and in place of c, we are writing 11. So this is the partial fraction decomposition of this rational expression which have a irreducible quadratic factor. Now second example that I am taking is x upon x plus 1 into x square plus 1. In this, in the denominator of this rational expression, this x square plus 1 is a quadratic irreducible factor. Okay, so the partial fraction of this would be equivalent to a by x plus 1 plus b x plus c by x square plus 1 okay now we take the lcm of this two term we will get here a into x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x plus 1 that will be equal to x if we multiply a inside this bracket, we will get ax square plus a and here we will get bx square plus bx plus cx plus c. Now taking the coefficient of x square, we will have a plus b as a coefficient of x square. Now taking the coefficient of x, we 
get b plus c as a coefficient of x and a plus c are the constant term now this x i am writing here as 0 x square plus x plus 0 now if we compare the coefficients of x square x and the constant term we will get here a plus b equals to 0 b plus c equals to 1 and a plus c equals to 0 from here we can conclude that c would be equals to minus a and here b would be equals to minus a okay if we put the value of b and c here we will get minus a minus a equals to 1 minus twice a equals to 1 and a would be equals to minus 1 by 2 if a is equals to minus 1 by 2 then c is equals to 1 by 2 and b is equals to 1 by 2 so now i am putting the value of a b and c in this equation so the partial fraction of this would be equals to minus 1 by 2 upon x plus 1 and in place of b i am writing 1 by 2 and in place of c i am also writing 1 by 2 so this will finally become this and if we rearrange this it will be minus 1 by 2 into x plus 1 so the partial fraction form of this would be this okay now the third example that i am taking is Two x plus three upon sorry two x minus three upon two x plus three into x square minus one. Now this x square minus one can be written as a factor of two linear factor. That is, it is x square minus one. It can be written as x minus 1 into x plus 1. So in place of x square minus 1, I am writing x minus 1 into x plus 1. And the partial fraction form of this would be look like this plus c by 2x plus 3. Now if we take the LCM in the right hand side, we will get here a into x plus 1 into 2x plus 3 plus b into x minus 1 into 2x plus 3 plus c into x plus 1 into x minus 1 that will be equals to 2x minus 3 now i am solving this equation for finding the value of a and b and c by using substitution now if we substitute x is equal to minus 1 then this term and this term will get 0 because here we get minus 1 plus 1 so it will become 0 and here also we we have minus 1 plus 1 so it will also become 0 so this equation will be reduced to 2 into minus 1 minus 3 equals to b into minus 1 minus 1 into 2 into minus 1 plus 3 this 2 into minus 1 plus 3 here we have minus 2 plus 3 so minus 2 plus 3 will become 1 and this minus 1 and minus 1 will become minus 2 and this will become minus 5 so the value of b is equals to 5 by 2 now if we put x equals to 1 then this term and this term will become 0 and we can find out the value of a directly okay so if you put x is equals to 1 here we will get 2 minus 3 is equals to a into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 3 
so the value of a that i am getting from here is minus 1 by 10 now we only need to find the value of c for finding the value of c i am doing another substitution x equals to 0 because i already knew the value of b and a if you i put x is equal to 0 in this equation look what happens if you put x is equal to 0 then this will become minus 3 here we if we put x is equal to 0 then we get here 3a and here we get minus 3b and here we get minus c now we already know the value of a and b if you put value of a and b in this equation we can get where the value of c directly so c would be equals to 3a minus 3b plus 3 if you put the value of a and b that is 3 into minus 1 by 10 minus 3 into 5 by 2 plus 3 okay so the lcm of now simply solving this equation for the value of c we will get here 20 as a lcm and here we will get minus 6 here minus 150 plus 60 okay and this will be equals to minus of 96 by 20 and if we solve more we will get minus 24 by 5 okay if you substitute the value of a b and c we will get here minus 1 by 10 and in place of b 5 by 2 and in place of c minus 24 by 5. so i'm presented this question because this is one more method for you for solving a little more complicated problem you can directly substitute any value you get equation in this three variable also okay and you can directly put the values of x as suitable as possible such that you can find the value of a b and c more easily okay i hope that this video will be helpful for you all and if you are new on my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much